a quick test on that LSD hot end, but this time we're going to test the water heat sink uh, that you can see there. And to do this test, what we've done is that I've installed a thermistor inside that heat sink, uh, that water block, and it's, it's behind. So uh, as you can see, I'm going to show this uh, right here. I've installed that little thermistor. And what's cool about Clipper is that you can control um, that system with a temperature fan. So in my case, I've configured that temperature fan to kick on when this guy is going to reach 30 Celsius. And it's going to activate that fan on that radiator that is there. And it also going to activate that pump. Let me switch to wide angle. That uh, water pump here that has been installed on the concrete wall simply because I found it was making a lot less noise like that and it's very easy to remove I can simply lift it up there's a little bracket on the wall and if I need uh, to work on the printer I can simply lift it up put it on a table right here or somewhere and bring the whole printer with me because that printer is on wheels and Right now it's hooked up to the wall and the radiator has been installed temporarily. This is just temporarily right now. <laughs> it's still hooked up to that concrete wall. So if I want to bring that printer all the way up, I mean in the front or to, I mean to move it, to work it on it, I just need to uh, unhook that from the wall. So um, without wasting any more of our time, let's just fire it up that hot end and Take a look at how it's going to cool it. So um, for this, I have set up also my computer right there, and we're going to be able to monitor that. So let's just uh, start by, um, we're going to remove the heat bed. We don't need that. And we are going to heat it up. My PTG is set to 240. And uh, you probably won't see that on the camera. Well, now you do. You see it's set to 30, that LSD fan. And at 30 degree, it's going to kick on. It should. So the hot end is uh, heating up. It's going to be heating up to 240. And as you can see, the heat sink is slowly heating up as well. And it's about to kick on. 29 degree we've reached 30 so it should turn on very soon um yeah there we go <laughs> that is so cool all right so let's see how it is going to be able to keep that to 30 celsius um pretty sure it's not going to be able to keep it to 30 room temperature is a little hot so as you can see it's about 24 to 25 celsius in a room right now um, there's no ac that reaches down <laughs> my print room and the print room is a little hot so i highly doubt we're going to be able to keep it low as 30 but it's going to keep it very cool at least 33 34 even 35 is super cool for a heat sink so we're just gonna let it uh, run like that and uh, we're gonna see if that is gonna heat up more than um, and 34 or 35 and I have set a shutdown temperature if if that thing reaches more than 50 Celsius Clipper is just going to shut down and that's going to stop printing. So that way this is a little protection, I guess, that we can say. So it's going to stop 50 Celsius shut down. So right now it is still doing 34. And I highly doubt it's going to go higher than that. We could give it more heat. Um, but 240 is probably a good temperature range. At least this is probably the average temperature for me um, on, on most of my material. Um, some of them I go all the way up to 260, 270 maybe. PLA, 
190, 200, 210. So average 240 is is a good good place. Um, and we're gonna let it heat up like that and see if that is going to go higher. I, I highly doubt it's gonna go higher than this. <laughs> I just like the look of that thing. It's just temporarily. I don't know yet where the final location is going to be for that uh, radiator or if that's going to be that radiator that I'm going to use. So everything might change. But that is good. And by the way, that, um, that coolant has been on or inside for about a week now. I've been camping for a week. A week and a half, I would say. So that is uh, still good. Still very clear, there's nothing in there. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this coolant to see if it's gonna deteriorate, is that word? If it's gonna go bad, <laughs> basically. Um, so that's gonna be another thing that I'd like to check. So we have reached 34.4.3, and that's about as high as it will get. Now, um, normally when I print, I also activate that RSCS system. So just for the sake of it, let's see. Action, fan, I'm gonna put a bit of RSCS and see how that is going to affect temperature. It is dropping. And that's 50%. On PLA, I go full blast. On ABS, I sometimes go 50. But yeah, it's going down. 31. That is good. So I'm 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 happy with the result. It's doing its job very good. And I don't think it's gonna heat up more than this. Yeah, it's still going down. 30.8, 31, so that's good. Um, let's just do full blast on RSCS and see below 30, the fan should stop. In fact, let's just test it out we're just gonna cool down everything so heater has stopped so we are at 30 Celsius and it's gonna slowly decrease I want to see if that thing will shut down I'm pretty sure it will this is the first time I test this thing. Okay, we are at 20, a little under 30. So I don't know what is the threshold with uh, Clipper. I think there's a delta that you can set up. Um, but I'm pretty sure it is about to shut down. Yeah, I'll be patient, but it should shut down. I think at around 28 but in the meantime um, a quick update on the printer so what's new here is that I've installed all those aluminum parts on the Z and they are just gorgeous parts it's not going to be the official parts we're working on an official uh, Z that's going to include a bed frame let me switch back to wide angle a bed frame uh, and all those parts is going to be one piece, so that's going to be very easy to align. And uh, also, this guy now has aluminum handles. We're going to produce them. Uh, we're going to try, at least. And it's also got the sexy frame brace. <laughs> ah, this is so good looking. On both sides. And I found that now it is super, super stiff. I really like the way it is. Oh, look at that, it has stopped. 
So everything's good. Let's just uh, shut down everything. So that was it for tonight. I'm I'm happy with how that heatsink is uh, is working. I I think that's going to be plenty of cooling for for even heated chamber. There we go. Firmware restarted. So again. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, yeah, temperature has gone up again because we shut it down. 29. So it has kicked on again. So I think the delta is 2 degree. I think you can set it up the way you like in Clipper. I have not played a lot with that, but yeah. So that concludes my test. And now I need to pack my stuff because I'm going back in vacation. And this time we're going to another place, another forest, another very cool place. So I'll talk to you when I'm back. And on this, everyone, cheers. Have a cold one <laughs> or a cold rum and coke. That's also very good. So have a good night and talk to you later. Goodbye.